The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines teamwork as work done by several associates with each doing a part but all subordinating personal prominence to the efficiency of the whole. Now to translate this into layman's terms, teamwork is the collective effort of a group of people to reach a common goal. Teamwork is an essential part of all of our lives, all throughout our lives. You may prefer to ride solo, but you will never be able to grow and become a better version of yourself if you keep going through your life alone. So why is teamwork important? It's rather simple. One human can't do everything by themselves, but a group can accomplish almost anything. If the Allies didn't work together in World War II, we may have lost. Conversely, uh, you can look at the other side of things, uh, perhaps it was the fact that the Axis powers didn't cooperate very well that they lost. If the Patriots only had Tom Brady, they couldn't have won the Super Bowl. I mean, that's debatable, but you know, in theory, they couldn't have. But of course, there are simpler examples. Working together on a group project in school, helping an old lady across the street, or actors working together on a stage. Working in a team with others not only facilitates growth, it also helps you become more sociable and makes it easier to connect to other individuals that you care about. But we've all been there stuck in the rut of a group school project, trying to break the awkward silence and work together with a few strangers you've never even talked to in your entire life. It's even worse if you get backfilled into a group of friends and they all know each other and they're talking together and you want to get the project started but you can't because you don't want to break into their conversation because that'd be kind of rude. So everyone hears the word group project and they just start tensing up, you know, sweat drops forming on their forehead, knees are weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on their sweater already, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> that is the absolute worst way to look at a school group project. My motto is that if you prepare yourself for failure, you will fail. A lot of people use this mentality as a crutch. If you are ready for failure, if you actually fail, you won't be disappointed when it happens, right? But when you adopt this mindset, you inadvertently set yourself up for failure. Instead of preparing to face failure, you're preparing to fail. Now, I, there are a lot of, we've done a lot of speeches in this class, and um, a lot of them have been group speeches. Uh, personally, I prefer to work on my speeches alone, uh, but it can be fun to work together with a group of people, you know, because you get to see so many different perspectives on a topic that you maybe didn't think so tough about, but some other people may be really passionate about it which is why teamwork is important because it opens you up to new viewpoints. But the sad truth in life is the only mind we can ever truly understand in our life is our own. You might be able to hear someone's entire life story but you'll be missing some minor details like the emotions they felt and their darkest secrets that no one will ever hear about. But if you could completely understand somebody's mind you would completely miss the opportunity to actually get to know that person. You won't experience the uncertainty and the thrill of getting to know someone new. Sure, you might hate their guts, but then you experience conflict, which, as I said earlier, is great for expanding your viewpoint, like seeing new perspectives, like what does this person think about something? What do I think about something? These, idea these ideals clash, and it's important for making you understand both sides of an argument. Many teenagers voluntarily choose to close themselves away from other people. They are afraid of being judged or being seen as awkward. But the ugly truth is that if you shut yourself off from other people, you can lose your whole life in an instant. You've heard it before, and I'm going to say it again. Humans are social creatures. If we are alone for a long time, we lose a part of our humanity. I mean, most times, I agree, solitude is very relaxing. But solitude can quickly become claustrophobic. At the risk of repeating myself, without human interaction, you severely stunt your growth both socially and mentally. The reason teamwork is so encouraged, not just in school, but also at work, is because teamwork makes goals a reality. Nearly anything is possible with teamwork. Scientists at NASA put a man on the moon. The Wright brothers gave humans wings, lets you fly between continents, meet new people. With good teamwork, anything can be accomplished. Or what can be called good teamwork? A team at MIT's Human Dynamics Laboratory conducted a study in 2012 to try and determine what facilitates good teamwork. 
they found that good teams not only communicate frequently, they talk and listen in equal measure among their peers, engage in frequent informal discussion, so you talk like while on a coffee break or something with your team so you get to know them, and explore new ideas outside the group in your own privacy. Now, that last bullet is important. All of them are, but the last one seems to contradict my whole point of this. Like, I'm saying teamwork is good, but uh, one of the main parts of having a good team is that you work well on your own. Well, the findings support that individual work is just as important in facilitating a good team as actual teamwork. This actually leads me into one of the most important parts of my speech. The most important part of a team are the individuals that create it. Because without the individuals making up a team, you don't have a team. If one team member isn't motivated, the whole effort can fall apart. Just one. If someone doesn't submit their work on time, does a half-assed job, or doesn't communicate at all the whole time, your team's efforts are severely hampered. This is where leadership comes into play. Not everyone is a born leader, and I'm not saying, like, you might say, oh, no, I could never lead someone, but you probably could. You just have to be willing to take that step forward. Speak up. Don't just sit there awkwardly and wait for something to happen, because chances are, if no one is talking and everyone's just sitting awkwardly in a group, it's because everyone is waiting for somebody to take charge. So why not you? You'd be surprised how willing people are to work when they have direction or someone to tell them what to do. Teamwork is such an important part of all of our lives. And it is only going to get more important as life goes on. Work, friends, relationships, they all require cooperation and teamwork. Every person is important to a team. The introvert, the extrovert, the leader, and the listener all bring a piece to the puzzle. So make sure that when the opportunity presents itself, you place your piece. Thank you.